What's going on everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Chester and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I turned this cheap tripod that I got at the thrift store for only $15 and convert it into a lightweight post that you can use for your tarp tent setup in the backcountry. Now you may be wondering why not just buy a trekking pole or buy an adjustable post from Amazon that can do the job for you. On my channel I try to show that you can repurpose things from the thrift store or stuff that you can find for free and give them a new lease on life so they don't end up in the landfill. Because a lot of things that don't get bought at the thrift stores, they end up in the landfill anyways. Now I understand that thrift stores, when they don't sell things, they do end up recycling them, but not everything gets recycled. So I'm just trying to reduce the amount of things that still do end up in the landfill. So yeah, that's the reason why I'm doing it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is basically take this whole thing apart. All I'm really after right now are the legs and yeah, I'm just gonna, there's some screws here and there's some rivets here that I gotta drill out. But other than that, it looks pretty simple to take apart. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. okay, I'm gonna remove that just so that it's easier for me to maneuver these parts. Okay, it turns out these weren't stuck. One of them fell out, so it just looks like it needs a little, uh, convincing to get out like that we go we got one this one and then last one come on there we go there we go so that's out i'm gonna save these so that i can reuse them for when i mount the part that i'm gonna make for this yeah that works put that to the side for now now I just gotta drill out these rivets. I guess I could just break them off maybe. No, I should drill it out. It looks like it looks like it's riveted on the back side. So if I can drill this out, I could probably push this pin back out on one side. I may or may not have to destroy this, but we'll see. Okay, so I have decided that this part cannot be salvaged. Maybe I'll figure it out in the next one because I have three to work with. For now, I'll just cut this off and then I'm gonna try to there we go. I think that works. There we go. So it turns out I just didn't drill out that rivet far enough. So I'm going to try not to destroy the rest of these because I don't know. I might have a use for these eventually later down the road. So I don't want to completely destroy everything because, you know, I want to salvage as much material. Aluminum is pretty expensive. So I'll, uh, I'll take apart the, the rest of them. All right, that was by far the easiest one to do. <laughs> I guess uh, the third time is the charm. Okay, so now I have three individual legs that I have dissected from the original tripod. And now I just have to figure out a way, or I guess design something that can cover this part so that when it goes up into the tarp tent, it doesn't destroy the tarp. So I'm going to take a picture of this, bring it into CAD and then design something that can slip over this and has like a, almost like a, a round shape so that it doesn't pierce through the, the tarp when, uh, when it's being, uh, erected. This is the idea that I came up with. It's a pretty simple design. Basically the insert the tube into here and then the screw goes into here and screws in when you twist it. And then the top part is basically just a round ball so that when you go to erect the tarp tent, it doesn't pierce through the, the tarp material. Okay, all that's left now is to 3D print this part. Nice. Oops. Okay, now that it's all printed out, I just gotta remove the supports from the middle. You can watch me struggle to do that here real quick. And then once I got the supports out, I was able to slide the screw in and thread it through all the way. Okay, I'm at my parents' house because my backyard doesn't have, well, I don't even have a backyard at home. So I'm gonna be pitching up the tarp tent in their backyard. And I'm not really gonna show you guys how to make a tarp tent. There's tons of videos up on YouTube to set it up. So I got my tarp here and uh, we're gonna go set it up and we're gonna go try out I'm gonna go try out the, the adjustable post that I made out of the tripod. And yeah, 
So I'm gonna be setting it up in the backyard right over there. Okay, so we're gonna do a basic tarp tent setup. This is actually my first time pitching a tarp tent, so this is gonna be interesting. Okay, now it's the moment of truth. See if this thing works. I think we did it, that's it. Okay, so let's go inside and take a look. not bad it's not bad at all got a decent amount of space in here I think if I put a guideline right here it'll get way what much more space so I think I'm gonna do that I'm gonna use one more guy line and tie it to this tree over here I think that works should work all right now let's take a look on the inside again all right let's go inside and see how much space we got now look at that there's tons of space in here okay that's not bad obviously i'm more accustomed to a regular style of tent but this works pretty good definitely have enough space to to lie down here my only issue now is uh, the bug net but i'll figure that out later this is not bad though as you can see, it's doing pretty good up there. Nice and stable. Doesn't look like it's gonna go anywhere. So I think it worked out pretty good. I definitely have to practice setting this up because that took a little longer than I thought it was gonna take, but that's okay. I'm uh, pretty excited for this setup. I'm uh, camping this weekend, doing a four day hike. Five day, no, three nights, four days. So I'm gonna be doing some tarp camping. It's early April, so there shouldn't be any bugs. So I'm just gonna test this out. But yeah, that's not what this video is about. This video is about making this thing, making that work. And I'm glad it did. I think it's doing its job. All that's left is to test it out. I will bring a backup guideline, like a long one, in case this fails, so that at least I have a backup um, in terms of pitching up this tarp, because obviously this is a thrifted tripod, so I don't know the structural integrity of this, but. If it works out, I mean, it, it, and it's not much weight on this either. Like I, I tensioned it, but not enough to put too much stress on it. So I think it'll be all right. We'll see how it does in the, against high winds, but we're not expecting any, we're not expecting it to be windy this weekend. So yeah, wait for that video until that comes out. But uh, yeah, I think, I think this worked out pretty good. I think I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you wanna stay updated on how this build goes on my test during our four day hike. Um, we're doing the Bruce Trail. I think we're just starting from the middle, so in Hamilton, and we're going all the way up for four days. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe so that you can see that video when it comes out. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. it lets me know that you like this kind of video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm gonna maybe lie down in here for a bit. I'll give it my.